Generals, non-destructive testing, oral questions. Describe the steps involved in a dye penetrant inspection. The surface is cleaned and then the penetrant is applied. Penetrant is allowed to dwell for a specified time. Then penetrant is removed with an emulsifier or cleaner. Once dry, developer is applied and acts as a blotter to pull out the dye from crevices so results can be interpreted. Name some tools that are commonly used to assist in making visual inspections of welds. A magnifying glass, flashlight, mirror, and boroscope. What are some of the non-destructive testing methods that may be used on aluminum parts? Visual, dye pen, eddy current, ultrasonic, and x-ray or radiography. What process occurs during the preparation stage of a dye penetrant inspection when the penetrating liquid is applied and then removed from the part? Dye penetrates cracks using capillary action and remains there until the developer is applied. A correctly made butt weld will have what bead width and how much penetration. Three to five times the material thickness and width and 100% penetration. What telltale characteristics are evidence of a cold weld? Rough irregular edges that are not feathered smoothly into the base material and various penetration depths. The penetration of a fillet or fillet weld should be what percentage of the thickness of the base metal. Twenty five to fifty per cent. Describe the basic steps for conducting a magnetic particle inspection. Magnetize the part, then coat the surface with ferromagnetic particles. If a defect or discontinuity is present, the particles align to form a visible pattern. 